In this video, I want to show you how you can create a carousel or slideshow of images in your Power BI reports. We're going to go through it step by step together so you can follow along and create your own as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fernan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks, and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So a carousel is probably something that you'll be familiar with as it's commonly used on different websites. So these would most likely be automated slideshow of various images. And today I want to quickly show you how you can do this in Power BI. So first, let's start by compiling the images that we want to use. As Power BI needs to reference online images, we're going to use a collection of flags uploaded here into my Dropbox folder. If you don't remember or you've not seen my previous video about Dropbox and using images from it, to use them, you simply need to copy the link like this. We'll put it here, for example, flag of England. And in the URL, we'll paste the URL that we've just copied. We'll simply change the suffix at the end to raw is equals to one. That will make sure that this image will work when it's referenced in Power BI. So we'll do this across all the images that we have in Dropbox and then import this file into our Power BI report. So I've done this across all of the flags that we have in the Dropbox folder, so the names of the flags, as well as their URLs with the suffix changed here. So what I'm going to do, is I'm gonna close this. Let's go back to uh, our Power BI report here. Let's say get data from an Excel workbook. Here we have the flags Excel, which we were just editing. Let's hit transform data just because I can see that the column headers are not detected here. Use first row as headers, change the type to both text, and we'll hit close and load, which would load all of these data that we have into our data set. From here on, we can simply import a custom visual called image carousel. So we'll go get more visuals. We'll look for this called image carousel. Here we go. We'll hit add, which will add this visual as a visual here in our pane. We'll simply click that to add a visual in our page right here. And in the image well, we want to drag the URL column, which has all of the URLs of the different flags that we have in Dropbox. So as you can see, it's automatically created a slideshow or a carousel of all our flags here in this visual. The custom visual gives us a few customization options to adjust the properties of this visual. You can change, if we go here under properties, you can change the interval count between all of these images. So let's say five seconds, so we'll wait five seconds before it moves on to the next one. So you can play around with this value, increase the interval if you think it's too fast or too slow, or you can disable it entirely. So you can see that we can disable auto slide here, which will show up these arrow buttons, which we can use to manually move between these different images. Hovering over the image, you can see will zoom into the image itself, allowing you to inspect it further. If you don't need this ability, you can simply just turn that off, which will just allow you to see it as it is, like this. And then finally, you can display multiple images at once by increasing the image count here. So instead of one, let's say show two, three, or even four. And you can adjust the space between these images by adjusting this parameter. So let's say 10% will add a blank space in between the images. And that's really it for this short video. I hope you now know how easy it is to create a carousel or a slideshow of images in your Power BI reports. Thanks for watching as usual. Give this video a like if you found it useful. 
give it a dislike if you didn't so not to do better for next time ask your questions in the comment section box below so i can help you and you can help others if you really like this video we have a patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access demo files and credits at the end of these videos thanks again for watching and see you in the next one bye bye